search is on for a missing lobster diver in Long Beach. And we're live as crews there search the area. We will not rest until we identify and apprehend the shooter in this case. Plus, the hunt continues for the man accused of targeting and killing United Health Care CEO Brian Thompson. I told the little graders to close their eyes and cover their ears because he was pacing back and forth. This is so scary. Two young boys are fighting for their lives after a shooting in a Northern California school. We'll get updates as investigators find out more about that suspect. Just off right here. Another. Uh, cold day though talking about weather and yesterday we talked about the fog you said you didn't see it did you see it today <laughs> I did not see it today I just okay. think that's on my drive because I'm yeah. looking at the cameras for traffic <laughs> and there's a lot of fog there's out a lot there of fog, yeah, yeah. Yes. microclimate I believe exactly yeah. so it all depends on where you that. live this yeah, morning see? you didn't see you that, can't <laughs> even see the you guys this is our downtown LA camera usually as you know you could see the buildings you can see the 10 freeway we are barely seeing some of the lights that are right in front of the camera so that shows you how patchy and dense the fog is here in Southern California but again in some spots clears the bell so it all depends on where you live those microclimates are working but as the fog continues to push in, we're definitely looking at visibility dropping, especially right along the coast in areas like Camarillo and Oxnard. We're looking at visibility less than a mile. So give yourself some extra time. Drive slow this morning. Use those low beams. And then here's a look. As you head a little bit more inland to Orange County, visibility down to less than two miles for the Fullerton area and then less than two miles also for Laguna Beach. We're down to two miles for the Chino area. And then our temperatures overall today chilly. So grab the jackets just like yesterday. You know the drill. We're looking at those cooler overnights and warm afternoons. Today's the day where the warming trend kicks off. We're even looking at some 80s for the valleys. Coming up my next weather forecast to let you know whether or not this warming trend is going to last through the weekend. Back to you. All right, Amber, thank you. Let's take you outside right now for a crash on the southbound of 15 before Main Street. Two right lanes are blocked off there, and you can see the backup heading southbound and northbound. But southbound traffic would take you about an hour and 10 minutes just to get through that eight-mile stretch. And here's the fog. See, it's out there. It's existing, just like Amber was saying. This is a look at the 404 five at Santa Monica Boulevard in our next traffic camera. So if you encounter this fog, make sure you give yourself plenty of space between you and the car in front of you. But right now, the 405 here looks great. Chris. And we do begin with some breaking news that our one person is dead after a shooting at Furman Park in San Pedro. The LAPD says they got a call just before 1 a.m. They say a victim was discovered under some stairs with a gunshot wound to the head. They died at the scene and no weapon has been found. The LAPD says it is investigating the incident as a homicide, but there is no suspect information at this time. And some more breaking news. In Long Beach, rescue divers are desperately searching for a missing lobster diver in the waters near the ports. The boat that he was diving from reported he never resurfaced hours after diving last night. I want to get out to KCON News reporter Luz Delia Caballero joining us live right now at the scene with the latest on the search. Luz Delia. Good morning. Yeah, it is a very active morning here near the port of Long Beach. Lots of agencies aiding in this effort. We want to show you live how many boats are out here. We counted at least nine, possibly 10. We have Port of Long Beach here. We have Long Beach Police. We have Long Beach Fire, all helping to search for this lobster diver. At this time, we do have limited information, but we're told, as we just showed you, several agencies are assisting with the search. Uh, this lobster diver only described as a male adult that went underwater and never resurfaced. The crew he was with reported this to authorities at around 9.30 p.m. last night. And the U.S. Coast Guard also got involved a couple hours later. And at this time, I mean, we are waiting to hear more from officials, but certainly we imagine that the marine layer out here is posing certain challenges and also the lack of light as they search this perimeter to see if they can find and rescue this lobster driver, diver. Keep it here on KCAL News as we work to find more information. Guys. Liz Delia, thank you. We'll be checking in with you throughout the morning as well. Also, some developing news in the search for a masked killer who murdered a healthcare executive in New York. Investigators say the killer was waiting for the United Healthcare CEO outside his Manhattan hotel. Law enforcement officials have just confirmed to CBS News that the shell casings found at the scene had the words deny, defend, and depose written on them. KCON News reporter Naomi Ruckham has more now on that search and also the video that captured the killing. 
The NYPD is examining a trail of evidence as officials hunt for the masked gunman.